Yo guys, a very good morning and welcome back to another Daily Market Outlook. So yesterday there was a little bit of a mistake with the recording, I don't know why, but there was some background music. But regardless, we're back here with another YouTube Market Outlook. So starting off with EURUSD, EURUSD is currently pushing in towards the downside but consolidating a little bit at the same time. So if we look at the overall structure here on EURUSD, we get the push down, we get the pullback, we get the push down. And now all of this price action over here is just a pullback on or inside this overall range with this being your high and this being your low. Now, we've pretty much grabbed um, all the liquidity which was resting uh, inside of this entire uh, swing range. So this range over here, um, what we did was that we even popped up above this high over here. So uh, all of these highs got taken out, this high got taken out. So now if the market is ready to push down lower, it should start pushing down now. now how do we know that the market is ready to push down lower? Well, obviously we're inside the extreme of a overall swing range. Then second of all, what you wanna be seeing is a shift in market structure before we kind of have that confirmation that we're ready to push down lower. So if we look over here at the four hour time frame, what you can very clearly see is that we broke structure over here. So now we kind of have a swing from this low in towards this high, which is kind of counter trend to that overall daily um, structure that I just showed you. But the daily structure is always stronger. Keep that in mind. But now looking at the four hour, we had a BOS. After BOS, like a break of structure, we expect a pullback in towards the downside. When do we expect a pullback? Well, when we come in towards four hour supply, which we did over here. And when we see a shift in market structure on the four hour. Now for a shift in market structure, we're now waiting for this black line over here to get broken. If we go back in towards the daily, that is also the daily fractal low. So that's a very important low, which we now need to break in order for the overall momentum on your USD to start shifting and for us to see confirmation that we're ready to push in towards the downside. Now, looking at the 15, what we see over here um, is that we've been ranging pretty much uh, all of uh, yesterday. Uh, and what I'm now waiting for is just to see, okay, is the 50 minute structure gonna shift? So this is the 50 minute low, over here we have the 50 minute high. Um, obviously there's no like real 50 minute area of demand, we're just chopping inside that four hour demand zone. So I am kind of anticipating on the fact that we're gonna break down lower, um, but I would like to see that 50 minute strong swing get broken first before really getting heavy into any shorts. But as of this morning, it is looking already good to see that the order flow over here um, is sustaining a uh, push down lower. So now let's see if we can break this low again and then just continue with the bearish order flow in towards the downside. Going in towards the dollar index, <clears throat> the dollar index still has a lot of liquidity uh, yeah, resting above this or these highs. Uh, we kind of like this mini trend line, so I'm still looking for the dollar index to pop up above this uh, and grab that liquidity. Going in towards AUD USD, what are we seeing over there? Well, AUD USD overall has seen a massive push in towards the downside. Now, since this area of supply, which we already talked about extensively all of last week and the week before, that was the main area from where we wanted to see a push down again. We're now, uh, if we just expand the overall zone into the entire area of consolidation in the middle of this area of consolidation. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do start kind of seeing um, some slowdown on Aussie dollar and start seeing some form of a pullback in towards the highs. Go in towards the four hour here, um, also very overextended price action. Now, this is a significant swing low. Uh, what might happen is that we just grab the liquidity underneath this swing low and then see a reversal. So 0 0.66200 is on my radar at the moment uh, for a potential pullback and then just wait for a four hour change in character. Uh, and then for example, we could take a long back up in towards these uh, yeah, areas of supply slash interest, okay? That's my main focus for Aussie dollar. Uh, going in towards pound dollar, what are we seeing there? Uh, so yeah, pound dollar pushed down lower, uh, nothing too much. Overall on the daily, uh, as you can see, we did in fact already see a fractal change in structure. So that's nice to see. Overall daily still bearish, um, like swing structure wise. Internally, we had a BOS right over here. Now after BOS, we expect a pullback. How do we know a pullback? Well, if we come in towards high time frame supply, which we did over here, and if we see a change in character. So we've got a change of character over here. So it does make sense for pound dollar to start falling down lower towards 1.28450, uh, at least going towards the four hour, and then you'll see the momentum is bearish. So yesterday uh, in the video that uh, didn't really work, uh, I mentioned that this imbalance should push price down lower. So for now, what I'm just keeping an eye on is to see if we can get down lower with the overall momentum. This over here is kind of like causing price to stall, but for me, it does make more sense for us to just start pushing down lower. 
So the next area of main demand should be this overall four hour sell before the buy, okay? Uh, going in towards Kiwi dollar, what are we seeing on uh, there? Uh, so Kiwi dollar overall uh, here on the daily. Uh, so Kiwi dollar now got in towards this area of demand. This over here is the fractal uh, or the liquidity low, excuse me. So that low didn't touch that sell for the buy uh, zone. Now we're inside daily demand here on NZD USD. Uh, from here, we should kind of see some form of slowdown coming in very, very soon. Also, we saw a four hour break of structure over here, uh, meaning it does make sense now as well for uh, us on the four hour to start seeing some form of slowdown. Where should we see slowdown from? Aha, uh -huh, over here, because here we have that sell before the buy. And over here, we have another imbalance uh, zone. So one of these two zones should uh, yeah, push price back up. So there's still a little bit room for NZDUSD to fall a little bit lower. Um, obviously, we're actually also inside kind of like uh, this very small sell before the buy zone as well, uh, which we're currently being or seeing experiencing slowdown in. So there's a lot of room for NZDUSD to start pushing back up again. Maybe or if already we see here for our change of character, we could start pulling back up again. Uh, I got my eyes on these free zones. Last of all is gold. So what are we seeing on gold? Gold pushing down lower aggressively. Uh, push now in towards this four hour area of demand. Um, grab the liquidity underneath kind of like these double lows over here. Now, uh, so, uh, supply is still in control. Uh, as you can see this buy before the sell, push price down again. Uh, what I'm waiting for is pretty much this area of supply to get broken and then uh, I'll get into a potential long. Okay, guys, that is my game plan for now. Uh, with the four hours still being bearish uh, or yeah, bullish overall, uh, with this the low, this the high, liquidity now grabbed, uh, pushing in towards demand, seeing a bullish strong reaction already. Now let's see if we can get that four hour change of character and long us back up in towards around 24.50. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Wish you all a fantastic day and speak soon.